In this problem, we have to select the expression that represents the total area of the rectangles below. One way to solve the problem is to first find the area of this rectangle, which actually looks like a square, and find the area of this rectangle, and then just add those two areas together. The length of the smaller rectangle is 2 and the width is x, so when we multiply those two values together, we get 2x. And for this larger rectangle, this side is also 2, and this width is 8, and 2 times 8 is 16. And what we would do is combine these two areas together. So we would combine 2x and 16. Because this term and this term are not like terms, we cannot combine them together, so this expression is as far as we can take it. So the correct choice must be choice C. Now another way of solving this problem is to look at both rectangles as one entire large rectangle. So we can look at it as having a length of 2, and we can look at it as having a width of x plus 8. So from this point to this point would be x plus 8, and we would multiply that entire quantity by 2. And we would use the distributive property to carry out our multiplication. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 8 is 16. So by using this strategy, we also come up with an expression of 2x plus 16.